Hello everybody, this is Solki for the release of Brigade of the Sky, the new set of Shadowverse, and today we'll be cracking some packs. So I got some bonus packs from, you know, the 10 they gave to everybody, the 10 from the Twitter campaign, uh, some of them from Path of Baking in the Rage Open. I think I should have a bit more because I'm not sure if they gave the season 23, so the last season rewards, but well, I have 38 tickets as well as 12,700 rupees, so we're gonna open all that, and I hope for a lot of legendary fighters. I want the memes to be dreams. Good start. There's no music when you open. <clears throat> so here it starts. The seven bronzes, one silver, here it starts. I could have waited a bit more. I already have a playset 3 Captivating Conductor, thank you very much. Okay, at least, I mean, it's animated. I also have a Soul Conversion playset here that I already had. Ooh. A, a rare, a gold rare, I think I also have all the Feather Punishment now, with the best freaking evolution animation in the game. So, okay, let's go on. Ooh, quite a few silvers and a few animated. When is gonna be our first legendary? Not yet, it seems, but we got more rare and more silvers. We are closer to being able to via all that. And ooh, triple rare, I like that, especially Dragon Knights, which I think is a very good card. Not because of him, but because of him, a 5 4 Bane Ward for 5 being pretty playable, but then you have lots of options and the enhance, and then you can get uh, a Stormy Guy to help you finish off things. I really feel like Dragon Knights is gonna be a good card, so let's wait and see and continue opening packs. And here we go, Kurva, um, the Russian insult now made into a card. Happy to get my first legendary. I'm not sure if it's broken, but it, it could be because as soon as, the, as you've played four feel, it becomes really really strong. My problem is that the base, the baselines that you get, it's a 4 4 for 5 and unfortunately it doesn't do much. So we're gonna see. Wait and see on Koa. I, I want to see what happens with her. But the baseline is just a little bit too slow I think. Ooh, nice animation here. The gold. And so now if we skip we have the recap. So here but one legendary and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight gold rares as well as a, uh, a lot of silvers. We already have a few silvers playsets. That's pretty sweet. So let's continue. Only 140 packs left. <laughs> I like the new animation. It looks really sick. Okay. I think we're exciting. We're gonna get all silvers and all gold by the end, that's for sure. Except if we get really, really unlucky, which I hope we don't. I mean, we're gonna get all silvers by the end of this pack, it seems. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, now I'm getting animated captivating conductors. It's all right, I already have four or five. We're another, another Dragon Knights, so I'm happy because it means I won't have to craft them. We'll be able to use them right here, right now. I'm done with the Feather Punishments as well. No, I'm just gonna need some golds and legendaries. <clears throat> Not like this, that JPEG. So this is, uh, yeah, the whole family. Okay. Sounds really good in pick. Any kind of recursive cards like that are really, really strong in pick usually. And finally, uh, at least! We got one gold rare in uh, those 10 packs. It really been a bit depressing. Okay, so no legendaries this time and two gold rares in 10 packs. I feel like this has to be some sort of recorder, but you know, let's get going. I hope I'm gonna get the, the full legendary fighters pack, you know, eight legendary fighters at once. I'm not even sure it's gonna happen over the course of the full edition itself, but let's, let's see what we can get here. Ooh, second. Legendary, unfortunately, it's a uh, Shadowcraft one. It's a 2242 that doesn't do anything until your turn 10. So let's be honest, 
I'm not really feeling it right now, but who knows, it, it might be good enough, but it sounds very suspicious to me. But hey, it's a legendary, it will make a lot of vials if it's needed. So, some more silver here. I want at least lots of animated bronzes, like, so I can have cool looking decks. Google, I don't even know what this was. Just, ooh, this is a nice animated card because I feel like it's gonna be a staple of every single blood list in rotation and animated for the years to come. Mm, oh, and this is like the new levy. Ooh, ah, yeah, I saw that. I was actually pretty surprised because the stats look very, very high. It gives you an artifact, a very, very strong artifact, as well as just being a 2242. I feel like it's this card could be really, really strong in Artifact Portal. We got the namesake, not the namesake, but the face of the set, the real herself. Another <laughs> captivating conductor. I think uh, I'm gonna end up with more than 10 of them. Mm -hmm. Where is the legendary? Not here. Ooh, a gold. We get a Lorena and another ca animated captivated conductor. What happened? What did I do? Is this a sort of curse? Is it because I I said the card might be good enough? I'm getting a hundred of them? Not entirely sure, but I mean, this time we get a legendary and only five gold rares. If, it's a bit better than the last ten, so at least we've got that going for us. But here we go, the Captivate Income Doctors were already at six, maybe seven. So, let's look at the last eight we got with the tickets. Okay, I mean, animated Fran is sweet because I think Fran is really, really good and will be a main chef, a main say of Shadowcraft. We got all three Dragon Knights and we got an animated one. Looks sick. This is, this is ten, uh, no. Eight, uh, nine animated card at once because you have both faces of four followers as well as the card itself. That's real value right there. And yes! Animated Adramelech. Holy cow, this is a full animated pack with an animated Fate's hand. And more importantly, animated Adramelec looks sick and I already have two Lintrums, so I'll luckily be trying it out. Very, very nice full animated pack. Okay, more Father Punishment. Uh, the other ones are so sick. Mm, okay, I mean, Katarina looks cool. I cannot truly complain after opening uh, an animated legendary in the 8 packs. So let's get going. Ooh, double gold, I think. Yeah, this is my second Narmaya. I'm not sure she will be strong enough to see play, but she looks pretty decent. And we have the other Parcelus as well. Here we go with one legendary and six gold. A lot of animation here. Two animated gold and an animated uh, legendary. So let's know. Go spend our rubies. I don't have that many. I spend. I actually didn't spend many in the mini expansion. I the mini expansion. I only open packs with uh, tickets. But I don't know. I, I don't have much gold. I feel like I, I should be getting more. And maybe I should be doing two pick to get more gold. I have a lot of tickets. And no, we do have the playset of Normaya. My little pro my problem with Normaya is that face value is not great. You know, four free bane for four is definitely not enough. But it's really got a very, very strong evolve effect. I just feel like um, it needs a little bit more. If you need a better, for example, face, like being a 4-4 or something like that. Decent stuff, or having a fan for effect. Ooh! <laughs> the other fairy, of course. I have to ban my with a legendary and upon the playset. I now have three animated captivating conductors, okay. This is sort of sign, and Cagliostro is also, also very strong. But we're not gonna take a look at all the cards. Already gone with three Paracelsus, Paracelsus himself. So I also will be able to test him in Shadowcraft. Adrian Weaponry, I feel like. A grand option gives you an Adrian Weaponry, by the way. I find it hilarious. The bronze card gives you a silver card. That should be the other way around, right? Uh, a bronze amulet that you can get with a silver card that does other things as well. But now, and uh, I feel like unfortunately this doesn't really do enough to be a good combo, even though I would really like to play Grand Auction. Second 
Girtablilu. Girtablilu. I, I have no clue how I'm supposed to actually pronounce that, so I'm just giving up. What, what even is that? Oh, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Some storm damage. And this is a forest craft card, right? And which gives you a card in Clash and then can destroy creatures. You know, she does sort of the same as Naromea, the, the, big, the big boobs bloodcraft girl. Except, you know, she sort of does it better because with Naromea, even though you'll uh, destroy a creature and get yourself into vengeance, you don't get that much value afterwards. While with Metera, you also get a Clash, which draws your card, so could be strong enough. And no legendaries here, so let's skip it and see what we got. Well, we, we have the fairy, and so quite a few gold, so... We're not gonna cry ourselves to sleep tonight, we're gonna continue opening more packs, always more packs. 110 left. To finally get the, play the, the three legendary fighters. Okay, not here, but at least we got a lot of silver, and uh, some nice animated silver as well. I think this is... Our third Seraphic Blade, so this is good news. Yeah, I saw people hyped up about Genesis of Legend, but I'm not really seeing it, because it doesn't do anything on the turn it's played, and it's a tough ask for two playpoints amulet. And it's not like Candon is really that OP. Some decent silvers here, silvers are still 50 um, vials, so that's all you can be wanting. And this is my fourth Narmaya. Another sort of a sign, you know, captivating connector in Narmaya. It's my destiny. I'm designed to append a lot of captivating conductors. Ooh, very, very nice legendary right there from Bloodcraft, which can be used as a small behemoth for, uh, no, no, not a behemoth. Uh, what's the name of the card? I forgot the name, but there was a dude who did just that, you know, uh, in Dragoncraft, kill your stuff and took more expensive ones. And if you don't really want to be doing that, you have the Stormbane effect, you know, the mini Zeus. It kind of lacks a ward, but outside of the uh, outside of the ward, it's a Zeus, so could be pretty damn good. Uh, I just have to see how good this effect is, because you sort of need to be flooding the board, but still have your deck built in a certain way, so it looks a bit hard to be abused. And second Kaglia Show, second Plague City. Plague City might actually be playable, it looks pretty meme, but it does interact with a lot of stuff. We got an animated Fate's Hand, I feel like we only need one more to have the playset. And more gold rares, I do not have three Paracelis, this is sure. And a lot of gold rares this time, a lot of gold rares as well as legendary. I think this was our best 10 up until now, but we're moving on, we are moving on, never stopping. N never stop popping, 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 popping. What is it gonna be? <clears throat> okay, maybe I should have stopped right there. You know, let's not push ourselves too much. Ooh, the new Garuda. Where our male legendary fighter though? So it's for for one play point. It doesn't do enough. I feel uh, to be played like this is not an extra that is worth a card, except if you're killing your opponent. And the other ones, you know. Like, here's this sweet, sub subtracting 3 from all allied amulets and dealing 3 to the middle when you pop an amulet, but this is 9 dumb play points. Like, if at 9 play points you have unpopped amulet on board, you're likely dead because this means you took your turn 8 playing amulets and you're gonna die, so not sold on Garuda, definitely not half as strong as the previous one. Because when you're 9 play points follower, you need to be able to regain control of the board by yourself. Nice Lyriel and some more animation here. We do have the Shabu Shabu Shamu and Shana. I definitely have a playset of Seraphic Blade. I feel like it's gonna be pretty strong utility card in mid-range decks. Mid-range decks that aren't as focused. And ooh! Nice surprise! Mordecai Eternal Duelist. So the new Mordecai that can only get reanimated once, pretty much. Because if you want to get him a second time, you will have to use an Evolve. It's not even like Corpse of Who, who just evolves on your uh, beginning of turn. But it can be decent with um, the Reanimate. If you get him early with Reanimate, he will be evolved instantly. He will have Rush. So he does quite a lot of things and could end up seeing play in rotation with some Reanimation cards. 
Okay, still more captivating conductors in Lyria. Okay, I'm not entirely sold on Shachacha -sha because without overflow, it's a 5 3 that rims you for 1 for 5 play points, which is decent, I'll give you that. The problem is with all of overflow, it's pretty much a blank. It's a 5 5 or 5 that doesn't affect the board and it will just uh, rot in your hand, not being able to do anything. So here we got double legendary. First time we got double legendary. And by the way, Mordecai was animated. I didn't even really notice that. So very, very cool looking animated Mordecai as well as the few gold rares. So let's continue. I really want the legendary fighters though. Oh, am I gonna play all my crappy decks with legendary fighters? I want to be going turn two, uh, Snow White, turn three, legendary fighter with zero play point amulets and other stuff. And a uh, one mana spell if there's. There is one, so, and a one playboard spell. But alas, not seeing any legendary fighters yet. So we'll just continue opening stuff. And no, we got the new finisher for Powercraft with maybe one of the best accelerate effects in the game because it's an accelerate effect that gives your leader uh, an effect for the rest of the game as well as affecting the board by giving rush to one of your followers. So this could be, this could really be the card that pushes uh, portal craft more mid uh, more mid-range puppet uh, portal craft decks to the forefront Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm not jealous. I just got a legendary so Not gonna complain here <clears throat> I, I like a few golds and legendaries right there here but it looks like um, Kimura-san is not listening to me. Okay, at least here we got a gold. This is a Havencraft uh, zero playpoint amulet that I think will also be seeing a lot of uh, play because even though this is not great, this is this could be decent, and this is three playpoints, and I feel like the zero one could be good enough. The the fact that on zero play point you can draw a card, it looks very good to me. Oh, another captivating conductor. I feel like I got a, a lot of Lady Grey as well. And we're gonna top it off with another legendary. Okay, now, I mean, I tried to announce it. So here we got Silva and a Mystic Rune in 10 packs. <clears throat> Let's not jump to conclusions, let not jump by the window. Let's be patient and look at the, what the next 10 packs offer us. Okay, <clears throat> that's not a good start, but I almost, ha I almost have all animated Father Punishment, so this is very good news. And I do have three Fairy Spirit Maiden Why? Why? It's it's a legendary I said was the worst when I talked about it with friends, and I have to get all three of them on my first try. I cannot get Legendary Fighter, I cannot get the new... It's okay. So I got Zui, which is pretty sweet actually, because it can be played. Uh, it, it's gonna become a six-five storm, and for one play point, it draws your card. So it really helps with the Lintworm. Just having insight in your deck, you know, having a uh, one play point draw card is would be incredibly strong in Lintworm, especially with the new Dragoncraft Legendary as well. So I feel like uh, Zui is gonna see quite a lot of play, and I'm happy to open her here. Maybe not in Lintworm, maybe in other decks. But inside is better than it looks. That's some Gower and more Father Punishment. Papa Punish. We had Papa Banish. No, we have Papa Punish. The new combo. <clears throat> nice. Now I think I have all three Cagliostro, all three Lorena and all three animated Cell Sword Lucius. I'm not entirely sure it's gonna see play, but it could be decent, you know, it, it's a five play point skill spell that leaves you with a body behind, and Swordcraft can use the bodies. So here we get a The Plague City. And to, to top it off, we get another Normaya, which I think we do have four of by now. Nice double legendaries. The triple fairy is not exactly what I was dreaming of, but we'll, we'll adapt, we'll adapt. Also, have an Arcus in the last set. In the last set, when I said it was one of the legendary, I really didn't taking up. So <clears throat> screw me. 
Where's my fighter? Where is my legendary fighter? Ooh, second Adramalek. Very, very good news. I will be trying out Lintrum Dragon. There's no way uh, about it. There, there's no two ways about it. It looks very, very good. And with Adramalek as well as Lintrum, you do have good finishers as well as good mid game removal, which will help a lot. Like Adramalek on turn 7 is gonna be very, very good. And it's a decent turn 3 play to draw two cards. Now we have all three animated Fate 10. Pretty sure about that. And we're just gonna continue getting another Adromalek and Legendary Fighters in the last few packs. Please. <clears throat> I already have three of you guys, I want the other golds. I think we have um, a playset of Animated Citera. I also feel like she's pretty good, because a 4-3 for 4 that replaces... Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why do I get four fairy spirit maiden in my packs? Why can't I get other legendaries? Please, Kimurasa. Have mercy! Have mercy! Why, why do I get this? <laughs> turn 10! Holy cow. Yes, on turn 10 you only need 7 power on the board to win the game. And, but actually, actually you can't even really do it because you need to perform burial rights two times and for that you need two spots so you can only have two dudes on the board when you play her you also need to have two followers in hand and it's only until the end of the turn I'm really not seeing it I feel rubbed <laughs> I feel rub stalked for fairy I'm gonna open another fairy right there we all know this is gonna this is gonna happen, and we all know how chill till we are gonna be. Well, I am gonna be at least. You might be laughing your ass off right there, and this would be very very uh, normal. Okay, second Temesis Purge. I'm pretty sure it's never gonna see play, but it's a decent option. It could be seeing play if Arthur got nerfed to eight play points. Out of that, I'm not seeing it. And this is a pretty usual 200 files pack. Ooh, nice! Another first refer that I could see uh, being played. I don't even know what that does. Oh yeah, he does it. He does summon another one and another one. Still captivating conductor in every pack. Or here's a legendary uh, animated father punishment. I feel like I have um, a, a skill. To be opening animated meme cards, I have seven animated Tartmans, I think. And okay, this was a lot of vials. Thank you very much. Three gold in ten packs. Let's uh, let's just pray for an animated fighter. The chances are getting slimmer and slimmer with only 57 packs left. But you know, we could still be doing it. We could still be getting the animated fighter right there. Here. Okay, now it's another Garuda. So of course the only legendaries I don't like in the sets are the one I will get in multiple uh, exemplaries. Okay, Girtabi Lerlu, the best uh, waifu from Bloodcraft. Mm, okay, we got some animation here. Another animated father punishment. I'm pretty sure I'm at four by now. Second Korra, that's nice. Uh, that's nice. I, 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 I'm more in the wait and see camp on that one. But for example, she could be pretty strong with Iperia. You know, if you can uh, use a, some, some fill early and then turn 7 or 8 to drop an Iperia, then you buff it and it cannot attack twice. Could be strong with ambush followers, just in general. What if this one, by the way, I have a lot of them. You'll four damage to the enemy leader. This just. Oh, it gives you another one. Um, okay, this looks completely unplayable because it cannot hit flowers. We animated Plague City as well as normal Plague City. So now we do have all Plague Cities. If by any chance at some point in our life we want to be playing Shadowcraft, which I don't see happening before the next set, and we are gonna open the last pack of the stand and get to the 50 last one. Double rares. I'll take it. I'll be taking it. 
animated plex t and two legendaries that's a good start that's a very good start and we're gonna continue with the 47 remaining packs only four more times we'll get this great animation Whoop. okay I never started that strong, like, usually I get legendaries after the first pack. I just stop getting hyped for the first one, you know. It's not how how it happens. You have to be building things up. What is it here? Hop! Ooh, nice. I have almost two of everything outside of Legendary Fighter, the card I really wanted to open. That's that's really unlucky, but I mean I do have quite a lot of legendaries, so it's pretty good. <clears throat> There's also you know six legendaries in the, the set. It's hard to get a single one of a specific one. Needs a lot of variants. And another animated captivating conductor. I I'm sure I'm at five of them by now. Oh, she's not animated. I'm so disappointed in you, Father Punishment. Where is the animation? Day and Tide Day. Uh, not seeing it either. Just 3-3 three, three wars of stats for, for play points. It's not exactly what I'm looking for in my gold rares. So, outside of the legendary, it was pretty lackluster, but you know what? It's gonna be a lot of vials. So, let's finish it up and then we will be liquefying all the extras we got to see how many vials we have, how many legendaries we'll be able to craft. 37 pack left. When fire, it's starting to get a little interesting here with another Powercraft, uh, with another Powercraft Legendary, which uh, gives you some stuff I'm not even sure of. Put a puppet in your opponent's hand. So you give. So by itself, it's a 2 2 4 2, which evolves into a 4 4, doesn't do, doesn't do crap, but for 5, it's a 2 2 that uh, kills pretty much uh, an opponent follower and gives me a puppet every turn as long as I have it in their hand. It's a decent uh, interaction as well as a pretty good turn, uh, as a playable turn too, like it's a 2 to 4 2. I didn't see the no uh, unmitted normal yet, looks sick. But, you know, I, I'm i not sure a local doko is gonna see much play. Because, well, actually it could see play in a puppet oriented build with uh, the new legendary sniper and it could be strong enough there. Because you really, really want the puppets. Another day, I think we have all animated Salesword and Katarina by now. Okay. Let's open another legendary right there. Okay, we do have the playset of day now. At least the artwork is sick. We do definitely have like five or six Seraphic Blade. And now we have the mouth breather himself, Vatham, which is, who is not mouth breathing in either of the pictures, so I don't really know what they did with him. And as uh, I talked about it with Akamaru Red in the Shadowcraft, uh, the podcast from Hall Team Hall Sky, he's likely gonna see play if you want the Accelerate too. So if you wanna be playing a deck with Orthless Knights and stuff like that, well, this is pretty good. It's a Summon Blood King, it's an Orthless Knight. Those are cards that have been seeing play in uh, rotation or unlimited in very aggressive decks and so in the end this feels like a very very good aggressive top end that mainly can be played on two and then could be the finisher you need with the effect here that it gives storm to your cheap followers to actually close out games where it got longer than you expected so he might be a cornerstone of um, more aggressive swordcraft decks here we go Pop another animated captivated conductor. I'm not gonna say anything anymore because I feel like they're listening to me, they're onto me, but I have a left thumb and a Lokoku as well as a three day just in this pack. So lots lots and lots of a good value right there, especially with the legendaries. This is what you wanna be opening because they're so goddamn expensive to craft. I'm poor man, I'm a pleb, I'm a free to play. And I hope to get more legendaries in the last few packs we have right there. Where is my fighter? Where is my meme card? I need you, my friend. I need you. But you don't need me, it seems. You, you're happy without me. Me meeting by yourself. Where is the legendary fighter, though? 
It just seems so strong with rain. I want to be playing it in Forestcraft. I want to be playing it in, in Havencraft with Snow White. I want to be playing it everywhere. Okay, another artifact spot. I have lots of them. Unfortunately, it's entirely unplayable, so... We're gonna have to live with it. Mm, okay, double rares. No, we definitely have more than three Lyria. And more... Uh, I think this was our third Metera. Metera. Ooh, and we do have the Spinaria leader. Here we go, new leader for Porcraft. The lowly waifu. Pretty damn sweet. Oh, this is new artwork as well. Looks great. Looks great here for Spinaria. Who could be... Say, oh, who could actually be seeing play in a more... Um, puppet, puppet oriented build of Portcraft, even though it does do artifacts and gives best to artifacts. This is much more of um, a mid range card than a true uh, artifact card. Well, it this is the same as Radiant Artifacts, but yeah, in a cross, you know, with some Icaros, this could be seeing play. Oops, ah, forgot, forgot to see the recap. Sorry, guys. But we got the anime, the Spinaria leader, so at least that's good news. We're done with the gacha for this set because I feel like she was the only one, so as she was the only one, we got her! Good, good, good. I also didn't have any from Chrono Genesis, so I'm happy to be able to just play her in a Borokai from now on. Ooh, that, that's a perfect 130 Vials pack. Only 10 packs left from now on. 7 here. Oh no. 14. But we're close to be done with the card packs opening and we do have a playset of Garuda by now. I mean, he could be like, his effect is definitely strong and if you have good amulets you can be playing on 8. Well actually, if, if you have very long cooldown amulets you can be playing on 7 then Temis' Decree could be good enough. I'm still not really saying it, but at least we do have three of them to be able to play it if the occasion comes. But still no legendary fighter. My mind is trolling me. Finally, an animated Seraphic Blade. Only two more to get the playset. Hop! Ooh, second Lococo. I think we're gonna get a lot of every legendary outside of legendary fighter himself. So in this packs we get two more legendaries and four gold rares and just let's finish it up. Let's get to zero rupees right there. Pop, 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 pop. I, I, I'm starting to lose face on legendary fighter, so I'll just you know not call for him because I think he, he's not coming. But I'm hoping for one more legendary, one more legendary, one time. I mean we, we did get two rares. Good start, good start. I swear I'm getting trolled by Captivating Conductor. Hup! Okay, only three packs left. Ooh, I even forgot he was there. I even forgot he was there. So this can be a bad Sylvan Justice for two play points because you don't get the fairy. But on five, it's actually pretty decent as a three-five ward, which is a good start. No, it's it's ward, so it it really affects the board by itself. And then, if you can get all the other triggers, especially if you can be playing wisps with uh, this, because you also will be wanting to be playing wisps because of the legendary fighter and rain to be playing uh, wisp rain legendary fighter on turn four. So I feel like this could be strong enough, especially if you can play it on turn 6 with a Fairy, Wisp and God Angel Selwyn to deal 4 damage to something. This could be a pretty decent card. Doesn't feel very legendary, feels more like a gold rare to me in terms of power level, but it could be strong enough. Okay, and we're moving on to the last pack, the one and only. We're gonna do it one by one. Is this the legendary fighter? There's about a 1 in 10,000 chance it is. No, maybe not 10,000, but very, very little chance it is. So, <clears throat> I've been forgotten and given upon by the legendary fighter. This is life. This is life. I will have to live with that. I will have to live with this fail. So, let's take a look at all the cards we did open. And yeah, I got trolls because I had to reinstall the game recently. 
Let's take a look at Brigade of the Sky. What do we get? 16 Seal Terms, 12 Restless Parish, 19 for Refuge, 14 Luscious, and 4 Animated one. Not even 4 Animated, uh, 3 Animated Grand Auction, only 1 Soul Conversion. Too bad. 4 uh, Father Punishment Animated. We're just not gonna take a look at the points. Oh, 6 Illyria, 8 Suffolk Blade. That's a lot of Genesis of Legend. That's, yeah, a lot of Legend Grey Death Weaver. I feel like this might be the, one of the silvers I have the most with Alexandra Demon right there. Seven poor Celsius. This is a sign of God. Exactly three. Shami and Shama. Perfect. Don't need more. That's what you need. Sixteen Charlotte. I actually got a lot of every single silver, which sort of makes sense. Twenty-five Eliza. Is she actually the MVP? We're, we're gonna take a look at just the silver afterwards. Uh, well, no. Let's take a look right there. Only the silvers. So 25 might be the, the highest, I think. 25 is quite a lot. Okay. I think 25 is gonna be the highest we get. It, it's higher than Captivating, yeah. Only 19 Captivating, but 5 Animated. We don't have that many Animated Eliza. Here we do have 5 Animated Captivating Conductors, so this is a sign to me. And when we move on to Gold and Legendaries, which one do we have playsets of? So, we do have playsets of a lot of rares. The one, I'm not sure if we're actually liking playsets of rare by now. Um, I mean, if they're the rare, I didn't even open once. I don't have the playset, but outside of that, we do have playset of all the rares we opened at least once. And we have quite a lot of legendaries. So, if we liquefy here, this would be almost 30,000 vials. So we could go for about 9 legendaries. I'll take a look and mark uh, Star, the, the card that I see being nerfed in the next few months, liquefying the rest in building what I need for my decks. So thank you very much guys for looking, for, uh, for watching this 150 something packs opening of Brigade of the Sky and see you guys for another video very soon.